if you probably heard, there was a uh, no connect patch that allowed you to actually play the game without the need of motion controls, which the game was built on. And let me tell you, this game is really incredible. So, after playing it, it was very interesting to see how this one played, especially, because while there were a lot of motions built around it, the mechanics are really interesting. So, for starters, let me talk about the, uh, the way your board operates now, as well as, like, your, the different types. So, first off, you're never off your board now you're you're always on it whenever you're playing even at the start you immediately are just always on the board as well as you uh your speed like the air you always have you it's more of like a boost now in a way where it you're not fully you don't have to fully rely on it all the time you can always just build on it and you can just always use it for a boost which is which i find is very good i think that's a good way to just not always rely on it and it, it keeps it fun and consistent for the gameplay so what's very interesting though is you remember how you have like the different types so you would have like speed and flight and power they changed it up with this game if you go to this menu here you can see you have these different gears that you can add so if you can already tell that you have the power skill you have the flight skill and you have the speed skill which allows you to use the grind abilities like any speed character and then you have ones for your durability speed up and for to increase your max speed so they they took out the ability to or the the type the different types that you would have for each character so not everyone is like they're the same ones that you'd expect them to be like in previous games so you can just have them be whatever type you want in this game the only exceptions are vector and eggman because they use bikes instead of the extreme gear so because of it it makes them utilize uh the power skill while also having on it one more while also having one more slot for them to use while they're racing interesting is you, you do have the chance to like um see the gameplay in like one of the old tracks in metal city which is from the first game so you can, i don't sure how i unlocked it but i think i unlocked it after i finished the whole story which i will talk about later but you can see a lot of the differences in like the whole design because that's another thing the graphics for this game are incredible they're they're probably one of the best looking i've seen in any sonic game because like it's close to how when you look at unleash and you see how much the graphics look compared to today. Like if you, when you look at Unleashed, you can just see that it ages just fine with its graphics. The same could be said for this game as well, because I love a lot of the sights in this game. What is a bit weird though is the set of mo uh, modes that you have in this game. So as you can see, you have like. The tag race relay race where you can like play with friends and then you have the time trial you have your free race and then you just have the world grand prix which is the story mode but no actual grand prix where you can do like four sets of races um just keep the uh consistency going and just like do a whole grand prix throughout the game which is a bit interesting to see because like normally with any racing game you would always have a grand prix so it's weird that they didn't really have one for this one story mode is uh a bit structured a lot like uh sonic heroes with the four additional stories while also having like one final story so there are so the story is pretty much another grand prix but it's run by this character called King Doc. I couldn't find the cutscene on it, and I didn't want to. It doesn't. It only pops up when you start the World Grand Prix, so I didn't want to try and get it back. But pretty much, uh, you get ten missions with each of the uh, each of the story modes. So you have ten story mission, ten story missions for each character. So there is something interesting though for the teams, however. So for the teams. You have Team Roses and then Team Darts, which have interesting picks for their members. So, for first pick, it's 
instead of Omega, you have the E10,000 model, which I was shocked because they took away Omega. Omega was not present, and there's a reason as to why, sadly. But I, Omega's like part of that team. He's been there since zero, so it was like sad to see him not in that game. Yeah, so this is also one of these story missions. So you will have these fun rival fights. You only have, only have like four though, but there are they are fun to do with some of the characters. So you have this one is interesting because for this one there are also some where you're doing like one lap which is a bit odd but after replaying a lot of the tracks are like very long because you can tell this was also meant for like to be played by one person one or two people so because of that it changes a lot the how the game should play and also this part right here blew my mind just the, the riding on here just like skiing on this that was insane i was blown away when i saw this for the first time but yeah so because it's like structured like that it affects a lot of things so it affects tracks as well as i'd say the cpu because it was very it felt very easy to beat a lot of the cpus personally like at, when you get a, like a hold of the controls while you're playing on the controller it's they're very easy to beat so you can definitely tell um the difference for w when you're playing against these on controller uh, and when you're playing against them on using your own body or motions to do so uh, honestly i i love it i love i definitely love this game when i've now actually experienced it without being restricted to motions because i definitely think if this game did not rely on motions as well as not be a um xbox exclusive this got would have definitely aged better than how people saw it i i know a lot of people do like it as well because um the this is also the first game that a lot of the new cast debuted it on so that was also a great this will would have also been a great start for a lot of the voice cast to if this game was also a bit more multi-platform for everyone to like experience for the first time but uh it was a time when console wars were getting at the worst and they felt the need to uh make this an exclusive so hopefully i i really want to see, see this series come back i feel that they can definitely approve a, a lot because we've seen how they've done it with team sonic racing with like um fixing story modes as well as like having like a big cast i just want to see this series come back in a, a new way because i'm i miss seeing these the characters a lot i miss seeing the babylon rogues a lot they're they're a fun ca ca cast of characters when you see them engage with the characters especially since this is also the first time you get to see them engage with team dark as well as more of the other characters like vector and metal sonic so there's a lot of fun experiences that we've yet to see in the series so hopefully we see this later in the years now that people are starting to see that riders is a lot of fun so yeah we just gotta hope that this just comes back one day but yeah if i were to give it a rating though for how it feels like with controllers because i'd say if you're just playing it on motion it's like a five but I, without the motion though it's like a setting it's definitely like a great game without the need of motion i just wish this game definitely deserved better let me know how you feel about riders and let me know how you would feel to see a new riders and how would you want it to play so let me know what you think in the comments be sure to subscribe and also subscribe to race sign because he's the one that pulled this off he was the one who was able to like create the patch that allowed this to be possible so shout outs to him for making an incredible patch for a lot of people to experience this in a new way so thank y'all for watching and i shall see y'all soon